Initialize sequence. Yo, this Blade, you down, homie. This is Shady Match Rock. This be the one them called Tech Nine. Yo, what up? This is Shaq's Two Dope from Insane Cloud Posse. This is the genius Chris Keller. Cook. What up? It's G Mo Ski. This is Rich White Jesus. It's the kid Mercury. This is Slain. Dragon Eyes Necro. Project Born. Mad Child. Your boy Jerry. Bitted. Welcome to the underground, Australia's home of rap, metal, and alternative music. What is up and welcome to the underground. It is Ned joined by Devin from the Orlando, Florida medical group variant. Devin, how are you, man? Dude, I'm doing fantastic. I'm so glad to be here. I'm actually in Nashville, Tennessee right now on vacation doing some writing and everything. So I'm glad that we were able to do this. Oh, that is interesting. But you, you do hail from Orlando. That's right, isn't it? I did, yes. did I? Oh, Absolutely, nice. yep. <laughs> I'm pretty jealous that you get to go on vacation as well because we're sort of all, you can't go anywhere with this whole coronavirus situation at the moment. Yeah, it's been pretty limited, but uh, I've had a lot of vacation time from my day job kind of stacking up. And I figured, you know what? I've been grinding pretty hard. Just got to get this EP out, which we've been putting a lot of blood, sweat and tears on. So that's been a lot of work as well. So it's time to just relax a little bit, do some casual writing for some new stuff. Oh, I like that right there, man. Now, before we talk about the EP, I want to get the variant backstory a little bit. Can you tell us about the group, what you consist of and how you guys got going? Sure. So I actually used to be in a touring band called uh, Versi Emerge, which was a pop rock band on Fuel by Ramen Atlantic Records about eight to 10 years ago. Uh, life kind of happened and I had to leave that project. And ever since I've been wanting to start a metal project of my own. Um, and so what happened is it kind of came into fruitation with me working with a producer and good friend of mine named Pavi Mello. And we kind of just started writing uh, everything that ended up being what you hear now, which is Variant. And I started kind of recruiting some of the members around my area to kind of start being part of that band. And uh, ever since, we just kept on writing, got to do one show under our belt, and uh, finally got to release some of this new music within the last few months. Uh, but it really just kind of started with me and, and another guy just writing this music and kind of came together and, and built Variant. <laughs> Yeah, I like that right there, man. And Varian, I'm all over this. You guys have already released some very solid material. What would you say sort of best describes your sound? There's all sorts of cross genres and whatever at the moment. But what would you say best describes your sound, Devin? You know, I feel like we have a very uh, old metalcore sound meets kind of the new age kind of sound today. So we've been getting a lot of like Parkway Drive kind of influence in that, which was a huge influence of mine back in the day with Winston and his vocals uh, with kind of some new age stuff, like kind of meets currents. Um, but I really, I, I, I can't peg too much on what exactly defines us and what you could describe us as. I think it's something a little new, to be honest. I think that the name fits very perfectly. It's a variant. So it, it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that all within that metalcore realm. Yeah, I like that right there. And you guys have just released <laughs> your very first EP, Delirium Machine. It's a very good one, man. And you cover some very big sort of hard hitting topics in this one. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I knew that I was probably going to get some, some kickback from that a little bit. But these are just things that you know, have been very weighted on me and, and things that I've kind of done my own private research about, but it's kind of kind of turned the tables a little bit. I feel like it's it's time to bring some light to some of these topics and, and kind of get some conversations going, but also it was kind of a way for me to kind of fuel my own type of passion and everything about these topics as well. But definitely kind of hit some stuff with some with some trafficking that's been going on in the world and also just kind of some online things that have been going on with some of those things that have taken shape recently with relationships and trying to date through COVID and this pandemic. And it, it's just a lot of different things that kind of just all melded together into one big message. Yeah, no, it very much speaks for itself. And it's good to see that you're hitting those hard hitting topics, man. They need to be out there and they need to be heard, I think. Uh, you've, I love the Gemini video. All have been really solid. Is there any more to come? Yeah, we, we've got a lot of new music on the way. Actually, we're here in Nashville right now, uh, currently writing. I actually kind of stepped away just so we can do some of this, which was a big opportunity for me. And I really thank you again for letting this happen. But uh, uh, yeah, we've been doing, we got a lot of new music coming our way. Um, you know, we're just going to keep on trying to jam them out. Uh, as far as getting a collective, we're working on a new EP for sure. 
Um, but we'll definitely get out some singles as we're kind of working on that as well to kind of keep things alive and to keep that bandwagon kind of rolling in the meantime. But we've got a lot of good stuff coming your way very soon. Oh, very much looking forward to it, Devin, man. And just when I think you're an all serious band, you go ahead and you release a teaser video with the towel, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to give this away, but you need to hit this up on your on your Facebook page. Uh, look like the fun, but bandmates maybe not enjoying it as much as you. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one of them maybe not both of them but uh <laughs> you know what we're just trying some new things uh you know the big only fans thing is out right now we thought with the video how cool would it be to kind of be on the other side of things and being the guys that are kind of being uh you know fascinated by and being worshipped on the other side of the spectrum so just poking fun at it it was just kind of a fun topic just to try to do something a little bit different especially for the metal side of of the genre so uh but yeah man inner gemini has probably been one of my favorite ones to do the video is by far one of my favorites a new side of the band just kind of delving into what ultimately are we going to be and kind of go for that's why this ep has been so great seeing where people are really kind of um receiving the best if they like kind of more of the really kind of in your face metal core or the more kind of laid back kind of vibey metal just seeing what people are eating up and what they're not and kind of which way we want to go with the rest of our new music Oh, yes, indeed. All right, man. Well, let's switch things up to you a little bit. You mentioned that you're in a band, a pop band, uh, 10 years ago, but I want to find out a surprising fact that's going to spin your fans out to find out about you. Apart from the fact you may like to drop a towel here and there. <laughs> oh, so some other things that maybe people might like that they wouldn't really know about? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm a pretty straightforward guy. Um, we do a lot just, uh, just trying with the music. Um, I do a lot of gaming. Uh, I'm currently playing a game called Rogue Company right now, which is cross-platform, kind of a PvP battle royale, so a super nerd. Used to be into the old Dungeons and Dragons and stuff yeah. like that back in the yes. day. Love it. Uh, <laughs> RPG type of stuff. I mean, and, and I probably use a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of that in my writing as well, which people probably don't even realize. Kind of under, if you really look at the lyrics and stuff, I kind of do some things with that. But it's very, very ta uh, fairy tale based type of stuff. Um, but honestly, man, I'm just, I'm just a guy that just likes to hang out, write some good rock songs, and and kind of kick it like that. And then I'm I'm also a vet tech as well during my day job. So I work with animals. So a lot of people are kind of surprised by that. I'm a, I'm a dog and cat nurse. <laughs> I love that right there, man. Love animals, man. That is also <laughs> right there. And just what you're talking you. about that though, Devin, I was just thinking, how cool would it be to get a variant track on like a, a game as like a soundtrack? That'd be pretty damn cool right there. It's so crazy that you're saying that because that's literally some of the stuff that we're working on right now, kind of with game design and trying to get into soundtracks. I know that Periphery was one of those bands that got to do some of the, like the Halo or Destiny stuff. Um, I feel like that metal genre is kind of slowly getting into that type of realm and we would love to have that. And I would also love to do voiceovers for some stuff for maybe some gaming and everything as well. Oh, voiceovers right there. Yes, well, I do career yeah. in radio and you definitely got the voice, man. I like it right there. So, <laughs> we were sort of talking about, you know, like there's not much on the touring front and sort of it's cool that you're on vacation right now, but is there any sort of word for you? I ask all my guests this, like, do you know what's happening touring? Will Variant be out on the road anytime soon? I, I would really like to. There's definitely some talks of that. I mean, definitely in my area of Florida, we're having a lot of the bar venues and stuff like that open back up. Maybe not so much the House of Blues and your hard rocks and everything, but uh, definitely they've got some shows that are opening up and we definitely love to jump on some of the local scene a little bit. Um, as far as the kind of the big touring circuits, doing kind of East Coast, West Coast kind of runs, we're kind of in talks right now, but nothing too serious. But I'm definitely itching to get back on the road again, as I'm sure millions of others are as well. But uh, I, I definitely see it in our future. I know that they just released uh, the announcement of Furnace Fest, which is in Alabama, which has a three day festival with a lot of big acts like Kill Switch Engaged and Under Oath and everything on there. Um, so I definitely see that in the horizon and that's only in September. So that's not too far away. So I definitely see the realism of us getting on the road and doing some dates really soon. Oh, fingers crossed, touch wood, it happens there, Devin. We are very much hanging out for it and hopefully you <laughs> put it out here, man. I'd love to see that. 
Oh my gosh, I had an opportunity about 10 years ago when I was in Versi Merge and my I left the band right before they played Soundwave Festival. And that was probably my biggest regret is leaving too early because I would have loved to get over there and play that festival and all the other stuff that they have over there. That'd be amazing. I'll tell you what, man, 10 years ago, Soundwave Festival, I probably would have been in the crowd for that. So, uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's a disappointing man so now you have to i know I'll, I'll i'm like gonna it. make it man i'm talking with all my aussie friends over there whether it's just a tour or just to go visit i mean my goal is to get over there so much some of my favorite uh music groups are from over there guys like thornhill and the parkway polaris guys i also listen to these guys called uh the motion below yeah uh, so we're definitely uh, very connected with some guys over there. We want to get over there. We want to play. We want to see it. So I'm telling you, we will make sure. And I would love to stop by and visit you. I love that right there. I actually had the motion <laughs> right here on this show, man. And great to hear you shouting out some Australian bands right there. All right, man, we've discussed it. You're working on a new EP, but is there anything else that we need to know? You've got new videos possibly dropping, but what's up next? What can you see happening realistically in the next 12 months for Variant? 12 months definitely you'll see us back on the road again hopefully supporting some some pretty uh decent acts definitely some new music new videos new band members we got a lot of stuff going on so we're we, we're gonna kind of keep it under wraps for maybe the next few months but once it's time we're gonna drop a lot of new announcements and we hope that people will be on board and ready to go with it that is very cool right there. I like how you just left a little bit there. You're going to have to jump back on, Dev, and I like it very much. Well, he <laughs> is called Delirium Machine. It is out now on all streaming platforms. Be sure to pick this up. Four solid tracks, man. I genuinely mean this. I've had this thing on repeat. Absolutely love this. <laughs> oh, yeah. You are killing it, man. Congratulations on it. Dude, thank you so much. I'm super glad that you've been digging it, and I hope that everyone else has been digging it too, and hopefully that will kind of keep you guys a little occupied until some new music comes out soon. Oh, I love that right there. Be sure to hit these guys up. Facebook.com slash Variant Band FL. Instagram.com slash Variant Band. And on Twitter, Twitter.com slash Variant Band FL. Devin, thank you so much for taking some time out, man. Dude, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. No worries at all. This has been another presentation from the Grey Wolf Entertainment Network, greywolfentertainment.net.